What is good, y'all? It's your boy, The Shows, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. So I'm going to give you top four ways that you can keep your home pest proof and it's for cheap, it don't gotta cost you much. And if you got any tips you would like to share about pest proof in your home, then leave them in the comment section below this video. All right, let's get right into it, y'all. The first thing that you can do to pest proof your home is to simply clean up the clutter and the garbage and any things that is gonna you know, take up too much space in your house. Now, that doesn't always guarantee that you won't see at least an insect or two, but it, at the very least, it will reduce the possibility of them trying to hide out in your home but especially if you got a big house with like more than two floors you know you gotta make sure that you're not giving them any room to basically hide out and possibly breed and create more of the things you don't want to see you feel me the second thing that you can do to insect proof your home is basically make sure that you find any little gaps or you know crack seals that are open in your house like on the floorboards by the sinks anywhere that you'll find a, a little crack a little opening because believe it or not these roaches especially they can flatten their body and sneak right on in as a matter of fact one time i was going to the kitchen right and I seen this this big cockroach trying to lift itself out of a floorboard. So when I caught it doing that, I, I was able to kill it right away. Then I stuffed some aluminum foil under there to prevent that from happening again. Now that floorboard came with the house so it needs to get replaced. But for the meantime, I stuffed some aluminum foil under there and I haven't seen them since. Also, you can use steel wool and you can also use aluminum foil, like I said, but there's this other material. It's usually used in the Brillo pads, right? You know, or the scouring material that is used to, you know, clean stoves and everything. You can stuff those in corners that you might find a hole and definitely use caulking. You know, you could get that from Home Depot or anywhere that sells, you know, hardware supplies. You know, just so that you're making sure that they're not trying to sneak in through different little you know cracks and crevices and i should also mention that the rats and the mice they can squeeze their bodies through little hole openings for a rat it's at least the size of a quarter if they can get their head into somewhere the size of a quarter they can get right the whole body through and for a mouse it's usually the size of a dime or just a little smaller than that rats and roaches are always trying to sneak into your house so you got to make sure that you're, you know, sealing up all them little corners and everything, especially because of the weather changes and everything that happens. You feel me? So keep that in mind. So the third thing that you can do to insect proof your home is to use any kind of bait that you create through food and, and different um, chemicals mixed in together. What I like to do is I'll get some flour. I might get some baking soda or flour. I mix it in with you know a little sugar preferably the white sugar the the powder sugar right i'll mix that all up put it in a sometimes in a ball form so that they can you know bite away at it little by little when i've come back to look for it i would see that some of it was already gone and that there were a few roaches already on their backs dying now i remember one time we had a mouse that was running through here so i had actually put out that bait again and so when i you know, was looking around one night, I seen it moving around lethargically. I'm not entirely sure as to where it died, but it definitely did not die in the house because I would have smelled it. It must have found its way out of the house before I had sealed up all the, the cracks, you know, and crevices or whatever. Matters demise. So now the fourth thing that you can do to pest proof your home is to set out traps. This might seem obvious to everyone. Thing is, when you set out the traps, you have to finesse it a little, you know what I'm saying? put a little bait sometimes maybe even try to put it in corners that you wouldn't normally put it in you know switch it up every so often so that you can get better results now to give another example one time this mouse was running around through the house and so i couldn't catch it for some reason and and i was struggling you know what i'm saying i would get a different types of snap traps i would get the wooden one and i would get the plastic one with the plastic one it has the teeth on it right like the teeth shaped um snapping part right so i would put peanut butter inside uh the groove where that little step is for the mouse i would put it right inside there so that it would have to reach inside to get to the peanut butter and then the head gets snapped in and you know kills the mice instantly now with the wooden trap i would put like little bits of like cheese and meat 
sliced meat, you know, from the deli or whatever. Put them in the little grooves right where the snap trigger is or whatever. So that again, they would have to reach for it. They would get killed right there and there very easily. Now with the roaches, you don't really got to do much because the roaches will crawl around in the dark, get lost at some point, and then find themselves stuck on like a glue trap or even say you could even use duct tape, place it around certain flat parts of the floor. Mainly, I would say put these things in the kitchen and the bathroom. Now you can put some in the living room, but they don't really frequent those areas because you know, the thing with the bathroom is the roaches, they like a moist and damp environment. So that's why they go in there. Which is why I would also suggest keeping the windows open as a little bonus so that the bathroom is not too damp in there because that's what the insects love. They love water. They can go without food for a long time, but without water, they won't really survive. You feel me? So you got to cut off their supply. It's really the thing. You got to cut off their ways of getting in. You got to cut off their supply of anything that they need, including shelter. Okay, so that was my top four ways that you could pest proof your home cheap. Doesn't really cost you much to do these things. But if I left anything out, like I said, just leave it in the comment section below telling me what you can think of to pest proof your home. It's getting warmer, so definitely going to be seeing more insects. If y'all enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe if you want to. This is Shells World TV. I make reaction sketches and vlogs. Follow me on all my socials. All the links for everything else is in the description down below. Thank y'all for watching. I haven't said that in a while on my channel, but I need to say it more often again because I keep forgetting. Thank y'all for watching, man. For real. I appreciate it. If you want more videos like this, then check out my top four playlists right there. And if you want my more recent video, then click that over there. Alright, so it's your boy The Shells, and I'll see you guys next time when I upload. Peace.